everybody today we're going to talk about dutch bucket hydroponics again and the first thing people think about with dutch buckets is the bucket itself now i've talked in the past about this don't worry so much about the bucket concentrate on the method the process the procedure and you'll be just fine you can use all kinds of containers this happens to be a food grade bucket right here that i've got the elbow on the outside elbow on the inside uh, this works fine for things like tomatoes and peppers, cucumbers, things are going to be fairly vertical. It works great. Now, suppose you were going to do something uh, that was going to get about this big around with some leaves on it about this long, and it's going to get very maybe side heavy one direction or other. Um, five gallon bucket may not be the best option. At least I didn't think it was for me. Other people probably will have different results. Uh, so I chose to use one of these. Anybody know what this is? This is a 21 gallon concrete mixing tub, large mixing tub. Uh, you put your dry mix in there, add the water, take your hoe and mix it all up. I decided to use this because I felt like uh, it'd be a, give me a more of a surface area, a wider area for the plants to, uh, to grow. And maybe the roots and everything were intertwined. It would keep them from falling out. So what I did, I did the same thing like you do in the bucket. I drilled two holes in here. Instead of having one because the container was just so large, I put two holes in here for my return to bring the water and the uh, solution out of this tub. And I usually use a paint strainer for the five gallon buckets to keep perlite from going back to the reservoir. Uh, I don't have a paint strainer that's gonna fix this. I didn't have any tool fabric or anything like that. So what I decided to do was just pile some rocks right around the elbow and use that as a filter. Just some little landscape rocks that you can get from Lowe's or Home Depot anywhere work just fine. Uh, I figured that would be suitable and it worked. I had very little, if any, uh, perlite going back to the reservoir. Now, what am I gonna plant? I'm sure a lot of you have seen and heard this thing about the cauliflower craze. Everybody's eating cauliflower. Cauliflower rice, cauliflower mashed potatoes, even cauliflower steaks where you cut it in a thick piece about like this season it put it on the grill just like a steak we have done that uh, it turns out pretty good especially if you're trying to cut back on some of the fatty stuff and keep yourself slim and trim it's a pretty good thing so i chose snowball cauliflower i've grown it before outside and it should have been called uh softball because it only got about this big never really got any great results from cauliflower outside but for this experiment right here, the uh, Dutch bucket stuff, I have pretty high hopes. I put four plants in there. Each one has its own uh, dripper to make sure that everything gets a uniform water in there. And these things absolutely took off. I mean, did exactly what I expected them to do. Well, I had planned to do a cauliflower reveal, but something happened. The cauliflower got too big. So right behind me, you can see uh, this particular plant still has the leaves pulled up with the rubber band on it. Uh, this one right here said, uh, I cannot be held back any longer. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, feast your eyes on the most biggest, baddest, bodacious cauliflower uh, I have ever seen. And that sucker is absolutely huge. Gigantic, ginormous monster. All the words you can think of. It is out of this world. You can see how these things are hanging out. I've actually got a four by four post up under there under the side of the container trying to keep it from tipping over because what I was setting them on was made for a five gallon bucket and I couldn't quite get it positioned the way I wanted to and now they're trying to lean over with all this weight going toward the sunny side. I got it propped up and I'm gonna cut this giant head off here in a little bit and we're gonna see what we got. And beside the cauliflower something else I decided to grow in another tub was celery. Uh, it has done extremely well. I've got six plants in here. You can see how big this stuff is. And some of y'all know I don't like celery, but it's healthy, it's good for you, and I'm learning to like it. And if I'm gonna grow it like this, I better learn how to like it a lot. This stuff is really, really coming in, really nice. I ain't never cut no cauliflower that was this big before. Holy cow, but y'all look at that. Look at the size of that cauliflower. Lord have mercy. In closing, if you're new to Dutch Bucket Hydroponics, I've got videos out there. You go to my YouTube page, you can find exactly detailed how to set this up. Uh, if you're familiar with it 
and you just haven't tried it, you don't know what you're missing. Uh, I highly encourage anybody to give it a shot. Pick any kind of plant you want to probably and um, I think you'll get some very satisfying results. May even come up with some ginormous monster cauliflower. This is pretty daggone cool. So thank you for watching. Thanks for the support. And Lord willing, I'm going to have me some cauliflower steaks and see y'all next time.